Good morning, folks. Quick review of the new ISON data from last night, debunking yet again ISON's fizzling stories. You remember from the last fly on the wall, Billy and I mentioned it was alive, but nearly a full magnitude fainter than predicted. Well, the experts now claim that doesn't matter. ISON is just starting to light up now, having passed the frost line about 18 days ago, and we cannot yet guess at the size of the ultimate display. Interesting story about how excess rainfall over Australia two years ago actually caused a sea level drop due to the water locked on land. This is a top recommendation today. Sticking southwest of the Pacific Ocean, the White Islands volcano in New Zealand decided to let loose again. It's been active for months, but this is one of the bigger eruptions there this year. Aforementioned Australia rain story is kind of laughable as high pressure keeps most of the continent dry for the bajillionth day in a row. Next 48 hours shows threats south and all across New Zealand. The storms rolling across Europe are no joke. They are only severe in isolated areas and luckily headed out of Europe tonight, while the next low is cresting over the UK today and into tomorrow. High pressure in the east drives clockwise with the lows just east of the Rockies wanting counterclockwise motion. In the middle where they meet, both are forcing northward and the wind map reveals it. Check local warnings southeast and west tonight. Solar wind is dead calm with density holding and speed continuing to wane. Flaring has not managed to match the M flare seen last week. The southwestern quadrant has potential magnetic mixing at the trailing sunspots. On the northwest we see large but magnetically simple umbras. Turning in on the south, we see a diabolical set of sunspots, but which haven't yet cleared their throats, and up north we appear to have flare potential as well. As always, those censored SOHO images are back a day later, but looking unnatural with clear overlaps like this one we see all the time. Watch the little jumps in the comet indicating a missing frame or two. Kind of silly to so blatantly have an unnatural looking flow before not censoring a moment like this. Folks, it doesn't always hold true, but these dying sun divers have produced a number of large coronal mass ejections in the past. Looks like a halo eruption, doesn't it? Well, that's half your battle. Good news is that the Earth-facing disk shows no such blast. Must have come off the backside. We're just looking at the coronal holes, adding to the planetary geometry and space weather on the way for a watch score of 6 today. So where is that eruption? Stereo B shows perfectly that this came off the backside of the sun. That's why you need stereo. SOHO shows a halo from direct and oppositely fired CMEs. However, we do have something on the Earth-facing disk. The megafilament dancing in an Earth-facing position just ripped away from the sun, like just as I was recording the images. Most appears headed south, but that'll give you something to check before the evening news. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.